Hey there viewers, it's Charlie I'm back again with another Transformers review. And well, today's review is quite a big Transformer. Today I shall be reviewing Energon Omega Supreme. Ooh. Now as we can see, Omega Supreme is actually two different vehicles. We've got this crane truck and a battleship or, or an aircraft carrier. Now we're gonna start with the aircraft carrier. Although this thing actually has an official name. It's known as the Omega Battleship. So yeah. Having a 360, although this is gonna be hard because this is quite a long thing. And we'd see these huge thrusters. Got the front. And a gimmick here. If you move one of these guns, or if you move this. Well, that's. If you move the missile launcher, or, or these two guns, then, well, all of them move thanks to a clever gearing system. Of course, I don't have the missiles, but uh, you can see like a, a mini com port. Uh, I don't really have any mini cons to stick on them right now because they're all in robot mode. Now, if we remove this bit, here we can see this little guy. No, this is not a Minicon. This guy is known as just Omega. Which is a stupid name. It should be like Omega... It should be like Omega Minimus or, or something. But you're probably thinking, what's this guy's purpose? Well... Falling these up, you probably know where this is going by now. If you know this guy. Yep, this guy's a headmaster. This guy's actually a headmaster. So yeah. Now, quickly, articulation. Nothing at the head. Ball joints at the arms. And at the legs. He's got knee joints. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll give him credit. He's a bit more articulated than other headmasters. So, but yeah. If we just move Omega off to the side for now. And then we can close that up. So yeah. That's pretty much it for the battleship. And then we can move on to the crane. Or as it's called the Omega Train. This is a train? Really? It's got tires. This is like some huge random crane truck. Like... This is like if grapples on steroids or something. Yeah, the back, nothing, nothing to, to say about that. Here we can see these, these little claw things, which individually move, although I don't really see the point. Now, a gimmick is the actual claw. Pressure this back extends that out. So this is like a huge punching mach machine. Oh, and most of the time it just gets stuck at uh, that bit. You see? So you have to pull it out yourself. But yeah. Now the core can open, so if he wants to like grab a, a Decepticon Minicon and kill him, then he can. But that's pretty much it for this guy. But that's not it for the vehicle modes as well. You're actually able to plug this in and well... I failed to see the point. Ugh.
but moving this off, this guy can get pretty big, so I'm going to have to raise the camera. Well, before I get into this guy's robot mode, I need to show something. This guy's actually got a third mode. No, not counting that combined train mode, but... Well, if I just bring in the battleship again... This guy's actually got a bit of transformation that's not part of the robot mode. So to start... Take this if you can, then... Try and unhook it. Helps to turn this around first. And then swing that around. Then come in here. And then just flip these out. These are supposed to form like little handles. Now, I, I probably got this wrong, but, well, I don't really have any instructions for this guy, so I'm going by what I remember. Fairly certain I've got this wrong, but, eh. So here, we have this, like, little gun station mode. Once again, I failed to see the point of this. I mean, it's got this handle here. Or handles, which figures can grab onto if they're tall enough. But yeah, I, I don't see the point of this, so if I just move this. Now, moving on to the crane. Well, take this entire bit and just turn it around. Take this bit and move that up. And then just get that situated. So now we have this, which I guess is like an uppercut thing. And then just try and fold these out if you could even reach. So I guess now we have like an uppercut machine. So if like Megatron's, so if Megatron's dead, then he can just if I can. So yeah. So, say Megatron's trying to uh, attack. Well, what a Mega can do is. Just punch him. If I can. So yeah, he can just punch him. I know that was a bit of a fail, but honestly, it's hard to reach this. So if I just get this back into its cream mode. Okay, so as you've probably noticed, I've had to raise my camera a bit more so you can actually see the top of my dressing table, which is normally the background. And you can even see a Nintendo Switch controller because I like to just play my Switch all day. <laughs> But anyways, if I just go back to the video, we need to get this guy into his robot mode. So let's start with the battleship. Well, to start, turn this around again, and then just unhook that. Just roll that around again. As you can see, And then unhook that, and then um, move that out on that double hinge, like so. And then turn this around. Then take this part, move that down, and then that exposes an Autobot insignia. Try and turn around the guns. And move that down in that loud ratchet. And that's one half of a Mega Supreme done. 
And now for the crane, or the uh, Omega train as it's called. Just take it, move the crane up a little bit. Just turn it around a wee bit. Lift that up again. And then just come in here and just move that. And then just try and get these connected. This is this is normally easier said than done, so just excuse me. Okay, that was a bit tricky, but I've managed. And well, before we actually get to the headmaster, as you can see, he already has a, a wee head there. And this is apparently known as the Omega Grand. I don't know why, but if we just push that down, bring in your Omega Headmaster. Fold down his legs, just like any other Headmaster figure. And then lift that up, and before I attach this, let's just have a quick look at the head. I mean, it's quite red, so that's all I had to say. And there's no tank turret, because this guy doesn't turn into a tank. If we just get that on, head on, here we have Omega Supreme in his robot mode. Oh god, this is one big figure. I mean... This guy's so big, he actually stands next to Starscream in my collection, in my display. And speaking of... For comparison, here he is, with Cybertron Starscream. As you can see, they're roughly about the same height. So, yeah. Getting Starscream off camera. Now, let's just try and have a free 60. These back panels actually come off quite easily when you're trying to get this guy combined. These bits can come off quite easily and it's rather annoying. Now, for this guy's articulation, the head can sort of move a bit, it's just left to right, and that's it. With this arm, it can move up like so. He's got elbows. And the claw arm thing st does still work. With this arm, I can move her out. I can move up. He's basically going to still move around. And he still has the... Yeah, he still has the swiveling guns, although it's just these two this time, because this is now unconnected. There's nothing at the waist. Going down to the legs, they can... move out. And they both have knees. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation. And well, for me, this is pretty much just it for, for the review. Now, normally, you can split this guy apart, remove the headmaster, and if you can, try and open these up. Uh, it's to accommodate Optimus Prime as this guy is actually able to combine with Optimus. I'm just trying to get his legs situated. So yeah, this guy is actually able to combine with Optimus to form Optimus Supreme, but really, it's just Omega Supreme's body with Prime's head, so 
Yeah, and even then, the only, the only Energon Optimus Prime I have is the smaller version that can combine with the, with the other Deluxe Autobot, so, and he won't fit, so. That's pretty much it for my review on Omega Supreme. So, do I recommend him? Well, if you have the space to display him, then, you, well, yeah. Even though this guy's gigantic, he's actually pretty cool. I mean, he's a headmaster, he's got the cool claw arm. He's actually made from two different vehicles, which is awesome. And if you have Optus Prime, the bigger version, then you can actually combine with him. So yeah, this guy is rather unique and he's quite awesome. So, if you have the shelf space, go ahead and get this guy. Just keep in mind, you still have to find him with the Headmaster. And one thing I forgot to mention, he does have lights and sounds, although my one, uh, the batteries were leaking so badly, there was like tons of dust, so I can't show you the lights and sounds, because they, they pretty much don't work in this guy. But yeah, that's been my review on Energon Omega Supreme, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.